question six, um, it's asking, ah, yeah, so this one is finally using a different formula and, and not the one use formula that you, um, that you look up from the textbook, like from the section. So this question is asking at an instance when certain amount of current is flowing, let me label that I not, uh, through some coil of wire. And instead of giving you voltage or rate of change of current that you've been getting, it's giving you the energy. It's telling you that there's some energy stored in the inductor and that amount of energy is 3.5 millijoule. So, so that's your hint that this involves a different formula. And that different formula is the expression that describes the energy stored in an inductor. So energy stored in inductor, which hopefully you saw the derivation of in the lecture. I think I drive with this expression using a hypothetical scenario. And at the end of it, really the result is this, one half inductance times I squared. I think if you remember the expression for energy stored in a capacitor, there is a, a bit of a similarity there. The energy stored in a capacitor is one half, and I should be careful here, Q squared over C. So the similarity is that there's a, there's a term that depends on the dynamical quantity. In case of an inductor, it's a this current. That's my dynamical quantity that is a squared. And in case of capacitor, the dynamical quantity that's, a squ uh, that's a squared is the amount of charge stored on the capacitor. So there's some similarity there. You know, there's that factor of one half that comes from doing the integral or um, considering the self energy stuff. And um, there are some things to watch out for uh, with the energy stored in an inductor, inductance is on the numerator with the energy stored on the capacitor. If you express it in this form, the, the capacitance is the denominator for some reason. <laughs> so, but I want you to note the similarity because that'll help you remember the expressions. So, um, but they, at the kind of fundamental level, it's a relatively simple question where you solve this expression for the quantity you are being asked for, the inductance. So solve it for L. L is equal to uh, two times the energy stored divided by I squared. And make sure you are plugging the numbers in the, um, numbers in the uh, correct units. Or I guess if you plug in the energy in millijoules, then you, the answer you will get will have a milli prefix. So yeah, two times zero point, sorry, two times 3.5 divided by 0 0.4 squared. Should it give you the answer here? So, oh, oh well, yeah, let me leave that there. I don't think I really want to do the calculation. <laughs> Dividing by 0 0.4 squared seems tedious. So, yeah. okay, let me keep going. Um, so it, this is, I guess, uh, the expression like this, it's not as uh, universally useful as the defining expression for inductor. It, it, this is, um, but you know, this is, it's like uh, remembering, uh, it's like remembering this formula. There are questions where it's useful to know. So, so, so you know, to know, or at least to know where to look it up if you forget the exact form. So, um, 